somebody say, Father. Lift it up, say, Father. Somebody say, Father. Call him, say, Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Call him Spirit. Lift your voice and say, Spirit. Somebody focus on the Lord. Say, Spirit. Spirit of God, we reverence you. Almighty God, we welcome Spirit of grace, we reverence you. Almighty God, we reverence you. Ila bala sufri dikine bemenomaya. Spirit of grace, we reverence you. Shabala, shabala, shabala. Iko parili ni kini ko parili ni no kadi atele baya. Spirit of power, we reverence you. Ila bala sura ni kini ko duno ne ne fali ko parani etu. Shibala tala mana ko prane ne baya. Tonight is a special night. I feel it already. There's a river being stirred up in this place. Hey, it's how much you can swim. It's how much you can swim. Somebody bask in the river of the uh, in the river of God. The river is rising. I said the river is rising. The river is rising. Hello, sir. The river is rising. The river is rising. The river is rising. The river is rising. There's a flow of the spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. There is freedom for your souls. There is rest for your souls. I said the river is rising. The flood of the spirit is rising. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Welcome to the prayer session for today, this morning, the 20th day in the month of December 2022. This morning, I just want us, I want us to lift up our hands and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. <coughs> Let us thank him for the gift of sleeping and waking. Let us appreciate the name of the Lord. Let us thank him because he made us to sleep yesterday night. Here we are again in the land of the <coughs> Let us Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us appreciate God. Let us thank him. 
for the gift of sleeping and waking, that we woke up hale and healthy this morning. God has not allowed us to mourn. Let us say thank you, Jesus. Let us begin to commit this morning we are meeting, even into the effects of God. That God will take his place. He will reign supreme even in our midst this morning. That every of our prayers will be answered this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to sing these few worship songs before we commence the prayer meeting. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Most I. Yes, you are the Lord. Most I. Yes, you are the Lord. Most I, 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 we lift your name, I. We lift your name, Aya. 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 Adonai. We worship you, Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be thy name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai. We worship you, Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be thy name. Your dominion is forevermore. All thanks we give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. Thanks we give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. All thanks we give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. We give to you, Lord. Tabanika Kariolua, Ilea Shu Hilia Mo, Loria Yewa, Ilea Shu Hilia Mo. Ari Baba, Ile Ashu Iliamo, Lori Ilewa, Ile Ashu Iliamo, Tabanika Kari Baba, Ile Ashu Iliamo, Lori Shewa, Ile Ashu Iliamo. This morning I want us to begin to appreciate the name of the Lord, like the song says, the song that I sang last, that if we begin to count the blessings of the Lord, from now till tomorrow, we keep counting and counting and counting that we will lose count of all the things that God has done for us. This morning, I want us to appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him, concerning yourself, concerning the church of God, concerning your family, concerning your children, concerning your spouses. Let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. 
Let us thank him. Let us appreciate him. Let us adore him. Let us reference his holy name. He is the only one that is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise. Let us appreciate him. Lord, we say thank you. King of kings, we say thank you. The one that is, the one that was, and the one that forever be. Father, we say thank you. For the gift of sleeping and waking, we say thank you. For protection, we say thank you. For provision, we say thank you, Lord. We go out and we come back ill and happy despite all the bad roads and everything. For God has remained faithful concerning us. Let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. That he has been protecting us. He has been there. He, he has been a shield. Let us say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, God has not left us. From the beginning of this year, from the first day of the month of January this year, even till this last month, the 20th day, we have just 11 days more to go to the end of this year. God has indeed been faithful concerning us even as a church. He has not allowed us to mourn. He has been from one celebration to the another. Let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let us thank him. 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 Let us begin to appreciate him. And she, Oluwa, Lord, we say thank you. Over our lives, we say thank you. Over the redeemed Christian church of God, we say thank you. Over morning star parish, Lord, we say thank you. Oluwa, she, Agbani, Lagbat, we just want to say thank you. For the salvation of our souls, we say thank you. Oluwa, she, Oluwa, she, because you've not allowed us to beg from our enemies. Father, we say thank you. You have been providing for us, O oh Lord. Despite the, the, the state of things in this nation, you have been faithful concerning us. Oluwa, she, Lord, we say thank you. King of kings, we say thank you. Father, we are thoughtful and we are thankful. Father, we are thoughtful and we are thankful. It's not by what we do, O Lord, but it's just by your provision. It's by your provision. It's by your protection. It's not as if we know how to drive. It's not as if we know how to maneuver our ways. But it is just by your protection. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Oluweshe, Oluweshe. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. It's not as if we, be, we, 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 we visit the, the best physician all over the world. But it is just by your grace, oh Lord. By your grace and mercies, oh Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for our health. Thank you for the health of our spouses. Thank you for the health of our children. Thank you for the health of every member in Morning Star Parish because you've not allowed us to run Elta Skelta because of anyone. You've not allowed anyone to, you've not allowed us to raise funds for consigning the health of anyone. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. You've not allowed GoFundMe to be raised consigning us. Olueshe, 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 Ato Farat, okay. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. King of kings, we appreciate you. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. We exalt your holy name. There is none like you, Lord. Olueshe, Olueshe, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 9, verse 1, Psalm 9, verse 1 says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. That Psalm says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart, without holding anything back. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Let us begin to talk to God and tell him of all the wonderful deeds he has done concerning us, for his love, for his kindness towards us, concerning our family all the wonderful things he has been doing. Let us begin to talk to God this morning. Father, I give thanks to you with all my heart without holding anything back, oh Lord. 
I give thanks to you, Lord. I give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart, without holding anything back, oh Lord. I thank you for your wonderful deeds over my life, over my family, over my job. You've not allowed me to lose my job. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you. King of kings, we say thank you, Lord. Father, we appreciate you. We adore and reference your holy name. There is none like you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. The book of Psalm, Psalm 61, verse 3 to 4. Psalm 61, verse 3 to 4 says, For you are my protector, my strong defense against my enemies. The verse 4 says, Let me live in your sanctuary all my life. Let me find safety under your wings. This morning again, I want us to pray and say thank you, Jesus, for being a shelter when we are in need. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you for being a shelter over, over us, over the church of God. When in the time of need, Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. We say thank you for being a shelter towards for us, O oh Lord. Even in our time of need, in our time of lack, you have been a shelter, O oh Lord. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Olua, we are thankful. We are thankful, O oh Lord. We are thoughtful and we are thankful. Father, we say thank you. King of kings, we appreciate you. We adore and reference your holy name. There is none like you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The book of 1 Chronicles, 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 13. 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 13. It says, I will be his father and he will be my son. I will not withdraw my support from him as I did from Saul, whom I removed so that you could be king. This is mercy speaking. This morning, I want us to ask God for mercy. Father, let your mercy locate me, O oh Lord. Let your mercy not skip me this morning, every day of my life, Father, I pray, O oh Lord. Father, let your mercy not skip me, O oh Lord. Let your mercy locate me, O oh Lord. Father, let your mercy locate me, O oh Lord. Please extend your hand of mercy upon my life, upon my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, extend your hand of mercy upon my life, O oh Lord. Extend your hand of mercy upon our lives, upon the church of God, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, O oh Lord, every of our iniquities, every of our sins, O oh Lord. Father, forgive us. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Even as a church, as individuals, as a family, Father, have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Extend your hand of mercy upon us, O oh Lord, because you said in your word that you have mercy on whom you have mercy on. Father, count us worthy, O oh Lord, of your mercy this morning. King of kings, we pray, O Lord, that you count us worthy, you count us worthy, you count us worthy, you count us worthy of your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, O Lord, that your mercy, O Lord, your hand of mercy will rest upon our lives, will rest upon our jobs, will rest upon our businesses, will rest upon our children, will rest upon our marriages, will rest upon our finances. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your hand of mercy rest upon us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Your mercy, your mercy will not skip us. Your mercy shall locate us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O Lord, have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Since last month, we've been talking about light for some time. We've been talking about light. And um, I would just want to say one of those things. When the light of God shines on something, we begin to see what we did not see before. When the light of God shines, evil is exposed, clarity is received, strategies are revealed, directions are shown. When there is light, we begin to see what we did not see initially. Evil is being exposed. Clarity is received. Strategies are revealed. When there is light, that is when we can receive. Um, we can receive clarity. We can see clearly what we've not been seen before. We can see them. Then we can have strategies to move around. Then there is direction when there is light. So this morning, I want us to read the following Bible passages. John chapter 1, verse 5. John chapter 1, verse 5 says, 
The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp to guide me and a light for my path. <laughs> that the light of God is meant to guide us. That means it's, it's meant to expose every evil concerning our path. It's meant to show us the way. It's meant to give us direction. It's meant to reveal strategy unto us. I pray that God will help us all in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I want us to pray towards that direction. This morning, you say, Father, thank you for light. Thank you for light. Thank you for light. Thank you for light. Father, thank you for light. Thank you for your light. Please give me boldness to shine my light. Father, thank you for light, O oh Lord, and give me boldness to shine my light in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever I go, O oh Lord, Father, make me to shine, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, wherever I go, in whatever I do, O oh Lord, make me to shine, O oh Lord. Make me to shine, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me to shine in the name of Jesus. Father, make me to shine because I'm your child. You are the light of the world. You are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. I key into this. I begin to shine in the mighty name of Jesus as from now henceforth. I will not be hidden. My children will not be hidden. No member of Morning Star Parish shall be hidden. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are the light of the world. We are a city set on a hill. Ah, Father, we pray, oh Lord, we shall no longer be hidden. In the mighty name of Jesus, our church will no longer be hidden. We shall no longer be hidden as individuals, as a family, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am the light of the world. I am a city set on a hill, oh Lord. Father, make my light to shine forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make my light to shine forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, make my light to shine forth, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I still want us to pray because, like I said earlier, that when there is light, there, um, there is direction. That when there is light, there is clarity. We receive clarity. This morning, I want us to pray. We'll say, Father, I ask for clarity concerning every decision making, concerning my, in my life, in the life of my children. I ask for clarity in decision making. I will not just take decisions. I will not just take decisions in the mighty name of Jesus because I am a light, because I cannot be hidden. Father, I pray for clarity concerning every decision, every step I'm going to make, even towards the end of this year, even concerning next year, oh Lord, because I am a light, because I'm meant to shine forth, oh Lord. Father, I ask for clarity concerning every decision I'm going to make, every step I'm going to take, oh Lord. Lord, I ask for clarity, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask for clarity. Father, give unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I also want us to pray this morning concerning double portion. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10. The, books of, the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10. And I read, there Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what you want to do, want me to do for you before I'm taken away. And he said, let me receive the share of your power that will make me your successor. Elisha answered. The verse 10 says, that is a difficult request to, grind, to grant. Elijah replied, but you will receive it if you see me as I am being taken away from you. If you don't see me, you won't receive. There is a condition. For us to have double portion, we need to believe and put our trust in God. We need to see God all around us at all times. And this morning, I want us to pray that today I pray for double portion of the anointing of God upon my family, upon my life. Lord, I want the double anointing. I want double portion of your anointing upon my life, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I want double portion of anointing over my life, over my family, in the name of Jesus. I want you to anoint me afresh, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in this season of double portion, oh Lord. I want the double portion of anointing of our Lord Jesus Christ, of our Father in the Lord. I want the double portion of the anointing concerning me, concerning the church of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's as if some of us, we don't understand that prayer point. But let me quickly explain it to you. When we have the double portion of anointing of our Father in the Lord, we'll begin, when, even when we blow the hair, the dead people will be, the dead will begin to, to, to rise. There will be miracles, there will be signs, there will be wonders. So I want us to pray. We'll say, Father, I receive double portion of favor. I receive double portion of blessings of God upon my life and by my family in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I receive double portion of your favor and blessings, O oh Lord, upon my family, upon myself, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon the church of God, we receive double portion of favor and blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of favor, double portion of blessings. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, I shall give unto us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that whatever it is that you've given unto us shall not be stolen away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of favor, double portion of blessing, let it be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be our Lord, to oh Lord. Let it be our Lord, to oh Lord. Let it be our Lord, to oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Double portion of breakthrough, double portion of anointing, let it be our Lord, to oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen i open heavens this morning I was talking about baby christian i open heavens this morning I was saying something about baby christian some of us are not growing this morning i want us to pray and we begin to talk to god that father give me the grace to know you to serve you the more and as the year is fast coming to an end oh lord father give me the grace oh lord to know you and to serve you the more. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give me the grace, O oh Lord. Give me the strength, give me the enablement to know you the more, to serve you the more, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace, O oh Lord, for my family, for, to give it to my family, to know you the more, to serve you the more. Give it to us as a church in Monster. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace to know you the more, the grace to serve you the more. Father, bestow it upon us. We want to begin to crack bones. We don't want to be baby Christians any longer. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you give us the grace, O Lord, the enablement, O Lord, to know you and to serve you the more. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give us the grace. Give me grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow. Give me grace to follow. Your grace is enough for me. Father, give us grace, 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 O Lord. Give us the grace, give us the strength, give us an enablement, O Lord, to know you and to serve you the more. Father, give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give unto us, O Lord, in the name that is above every other name. Father, give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. This morning, I want us to pray, even concerning every of our children. Every child has his own peculiarity. Let us begin to commit every of our children, even into the hands of God, that every child in morning star parish, that the Lord will be with them, the Lord will uphold them, the Lord will strengthen them at this time, that the Lord will grant them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Let us begin to commit every of these children into the hands of God, that we've known their beginning, the Lord will, give, will not know their hand. The Lord will give us the grace, the strength, the enablement to be able to bring up these children in the way of the Lord. Everything, every resources that we need to be able to bring up these children, oh Lord. Father, we pray that the Lord will give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to commit these children even into the hands of God. Every child in Morningstar Parish, every of them have their own peculiarities. Let us begin to commit them even into the hands of God. That God, we pray, oh Lord, that you will be with our children. You will give them retentive memory in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, a, a, a whole lot of them are at home presently for the first festive period. We pray, oh Lord, that the Lord will protect them. Let us begin to talk to God that these ones will not play to destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be for signs. They will be for wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a light even to their generation in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a light to their generation in the name of Jesus. Our children will be a light even unto their generation in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you will be with our children, you will uphold them, you strengthen them, that you grant them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, that the spirit of academic excellence shall fall upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we've known the beginning of this one. We will not know their end in the mighty name of Jesus. We've known their beginning, we will not know their end in the name of Jesus. They will do exploits for you, Lord. Father, strengthen them to do exploits for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to commit as many of our children who, that, that we are trusting God to touch in one way or the other. Let us begin to commit them even into the hands of God. There is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot do. Father, we begin to commit even every of our children, oh Lord. Father, that we, 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 we think that they are difficult in one way or the other. They are not difficult. You made them in your own way, oh Lord. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that this one, oh Lord, that you will touch them. You will touch them. Father, touch them, oh Lord. Use them mightily, oh Lord. Every of our children, oh Lord. Touch their hearts, as many that are going astray, oh Lord. Father, bring them back home, oh Lord. Father, bring them back home, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many of them that are giving us sleepless nights, Father, we pray, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, oh Lord, we will not mourn over these children. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, especially, I want us to pray concerning our general overseer. I want us to pray concerning him. The man is over 80 years. And this period is a let's go fishing period. He will be going from one state to another. He will be going from one city to another, from, from, from one village to another. He will be going all around. Despite some of the, the, the bad roads and all that, he will be going from one place to another. We need to pray concerning him, that the Lord will strengthen him at this time. Let us begin to pray concerning our general overseer, that the Lord will strengthen him, that the Lord will empower him, the Lord will be with him in the mighty name of Jesus. We commit our general overseer into your hands, Pastor He Adeboye, that at this time, O oh Lord, that you will be with him, you, 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 you will empower him, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. This season of let's go a fishing, O oh Lord. Father, as he moves from one location to another, there will be harvest of souls, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be harvest of souls at all locations of our go a fishing in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be harvest of souls. There will be miracles. There will be signs. There will be wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I just want to give us a short illustration concerning that let's go fishing. There was a particular time we went for a let's go fishing in a very remote area. Even in Ikorodi, it was a very remote area. And then um, during the let's go fishing as it was um, ongoing, the, a, a child was rushed in. At that time, the child was almost dead, so to say, at that particular time. And the child was rushed towards the medical personnel and a lot of the medical personnel were doctors and nurses and they started praying That's when they've given the child the first aid and all that and they started praying. And the child came back to life that very day. I saw it live and direct raw even at that location that very day. And that day, despite the fact that those um, villagers, that particular family were Muslim, they joined us at the Let's Go Fishing Ground that day. So today I want us to pray that consigning the let's go a fishing, that there will be miracles, there will be signs, there will be wonders, there will be harvest of souls at all locations all over, most especially our location here, even in Antony, that the Lord himself will come heavily even into our midst this morning, during the let's go a fishing. Let us begin to commit it even into the hands of God. The 24th of December is a, is a location time for, for, for let's go a fishing, even at the Antony village field. Let us begin to commit it even into the hands of God, that there will be miracles, there will be raw miracles, there will be signs, there will be wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be harvest of souls in the mighty name of Jesus, even beyond our own imagination, in the name that is above every other name. Let us begin to commit it even into the hands of God. There are many that will be ministering in one capacity or the other, even during the let's go a fishing, that the Lord will uphold them, the Lord will strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 
Now I want us to begin to pray, even consigning our pastor, Pastor Wale, even consigning his wife, his children, his family. Father, we commit Pastor Wale even into your hands that you'll be with him, you'll uphold him, that your spirit will not depart from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Your spirit will not depart from him in the name of Jesus. Your spirit, your spirit will not depart from him. It shall be well with him that you will move him from glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. That it shall be well with him in a name that is above every other name, O oh Lord. Lord, it shall be well with Pastor Wale. It shall be well with Mommy Feli. It shall be well with their children, their spouses, their grandchildren in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord. That consigning every minister in Morningstar Parish, every worker, every member, it shall be well with every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us appreciate God consigning the life of Pastor Wally because I tell you, he, 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 he is really working. Let us tell God that God, we thank you for the life of Pastor Wally, but we want you to strengthen him the more, empower him the more. Father, in the name that is above every other name, that everything is going to do. Ah, that the Lord will be with him before he speaks, that there will be signs, there will be wonders in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will not run short of your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen him, O Lord. Father, your spirit should not depart from him in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to pray concerning our nation, Nigeria. <laughs> I want us to pray concerning our nation, Nigeria, because in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 21, verse 1, Proverbs 21, verse 1 says, The Lord controls the mind of a king as easily as he directs the course of a stream. The Lord controls the mind of a king as easily as he directs the course of a stream. I want us to pray concerning every of our leaders from the local government level to the state level, our governor, our president, every member of the House of Assembly, every member of the House of Representatives of the Senate, let us pray concerning them that the Lord will touch their hearts, that the Lord will touch their hearts, that they will have human sympathy, that the Lord will touch their hearts in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will help them, the Lord will, 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 will minister through them, the Lord will speak through them, the Lord will, will empower them to do great things for this nation, Nigeria. Let us begin to commit every of our leaders, oh Lord, our political leaders, even into the hands of God. Ah, Lord, touch the hearts of our leaders. Let us begin to talk to God that God should touch the hearts of our leaders in the mighty name of Jesus. God should touch their hearts that they will lead us aright in the name of Jesus. They will not lead us astray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch the hearts of our leaders. Every of our leaders, oh Lord, we pray that you shall touch their hearts because you said in your word, in Proverbs 21, verse 1, that the Lord controls the mind of a king as easily as he directs the course of a stream. Father, touch the hearts of our leaders, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, concerning our leaders, O oh Lord, because you said in your word that you have the hearts of kings and princes in your hands, touch the hearts of our leaders in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, concerning Nigeria, O oh Lord, let your will be done in this nation. Let us begin to pray concerning our nation, Nigeria, that the will of God will be done in our nation, Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done in this nation, Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, that concerning the forthcoming election, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that your peace will reign, that your peace will reign in the name of Jesus. Father, let your peace reign concerning the forthcoming election in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your peace reign, O Lord. Let your peace reign, O Lord. Let your peace reign, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O Lord, that your peace shall reign in this nation, that you shall choose for us, O Lord, from your throne, O Lord. Father, choose, O Lord. Father, choose our leaders for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We cannot do it on our own, O Lord. Father, choose for us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, choose every of our leaders for us in the name that is above every other name, that your peace will reign in this nation. Your peace will reign in this nation. There will be no war in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, prove your sovereignty in the mighty name of Jesus. Consigning this nation, Nigeria, O oh Lord, let there be a turnaround for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Make us to eat the good of this land in the name that is above every other name, 
Father, make us to you the good of this land. Let us begin to prophesy concerning this nation, Nigeria, that I will eat the good of this land. It shall be well with this nation. Let us begin to declare concerning this nation, because this is our Jerusalem. This is our land. Even when we go to places, this is still our, our, our country. Let us begin to pray concerning this nation, Nigeria, that the, the peace of God will reign here in the mighty name of Jesus. The peace of God will reign here. The God that turned around the situation of things in Samaria, he is on the throne and he is still faithful. Let us begin to declare and decree concerning our nation, Nigeria, that the peace of God shall reign. There will be a turnaround for good in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In the book of Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. And it says, he said, Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of the temple and he will finish the building. Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of the temple and he will finish the building. Let us say, Father, we have started the building of your house. A portion of it has been completed. Consigning the next portion, the, the, the next phase of it. Father, we pray, O Lord, that as we have started, that we would finish well in the mighty name of Jesus. Consigning the church building, O Lord. Father, we pray, O Lord, that every resources that we need to start the second phase, O Lord, that you give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus, the technological know-how, Father, give unto us the financial resources that we need. We pray you shall give them unto us. Let us begin to commit the phase, second phase of the church building, even into the hands of God, that the Lord will empower us, the Lord will strengthen us, the Lord will make a way for us, and we'll be able to start and finish the second phase of the church building in the name that is above every other name. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you shall bless the work of our hands and you help us to begin to start the second phase of the church building and we'll bring it to completion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray you help us, O oh Lord. Father, we pray you help us, O oh Lord, to start the second phase of the church building and bring it to completion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today is the wedding anniversary of the Okwalis. Brother Chris and his amiable wife, I want us to pray that God will continually uphold their home and he will move them from glory to glory and grant them their heart desires and that all round breakthrough shall be their portion. Let us begin to pray concerning the Okwalis that the Lord will be with them, that the Lord will uphold their home in the mighty name of Jesus that it will move them from glory to glory, that all around breakthrough will be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus, that the peace of God will continually reign in their home, in the name that is above every other name. Father, we commit the qualities into your hands, O Lord. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you uphold them, you will strengthen them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you will make them to know you and to serve you more, O Lord, even as a family together continually, you will continually uphold them, O Lord, that every of their heart desires in this new year of their marriage, that they cannot tell to any man, O Lord, that you begin to grant them, O Lord, that there will be favor all around them, double portion of blessing, double portion of breakthrough, double portion of favor in the mighty name of Jesus. They will possess, they will possess all round breakthrough. All round breakthrough shall be their Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. All round breakthrough shall be their Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with them. It shall be well with them. It shall be well with their children. It shall be well with their job. It shall be well with their businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. They have known the beginning of their children. They will not know their hand. Their children will make them proud in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray consigning them. Fresh wine from above, O oh Lord. Father, let it come and dwell pour even into their cup in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be well consigning their family. Let it be well consigning their marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. This, morning, this morning, I want us to begin to ask God, what are the things that we are desiring from God concerning ourselves 
as to be stepping out. The, 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 the theme of the, the, the morning prayer says, command the morning, that we should command that morning. What are the things we are desiring? What are the things we want from God today? Father, let us begin to talk to God. Talk to God. The things that you cannot tell to any man. Let us begin to talk to God this morning. These are the things I'm desiring as I step out today. I want to command my money. I want to command my money. I want to command my money. That these are the things I want. These are the things I don't want today. Begin to talk to God. That today, oh Lord, as I step out today, my light will shine. I will make it. Every proposal I've submitted that I, I will be granted today. Every interview I'll be going today, it shall be successful. Let us begin to talk to God. Let us begin to talk to God. Let us begin to talk to God. What are the things that we are desiring? Where are the places we'll be going to today? Let us begin to commit it even into the hands of God, that God himself will show, that he will show himself even today as we step out today in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go out today, let us talk to God that will go out peacefully and come back peacefully. There will be no record of accident, even in our midst, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us talk to God that God today, oh Lord, it shall be well consigning us. It shall be well consigning us. I will possess my possession today in the name of Jesus. The promotion I've been running after that it shall locate me today in the mighty name of Jesus. What I've been desiring all this while. It shall, I, I shall receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we just want to say thank you. And Bani Lagbaton, we just want to appreciate your name. We thank you, our Father, for everything you have been doing concerning our lives, concerning our families. We cannot thank you enough. Father, accept our thanksgiving, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings, we commit ourselves into your hands this morning. As we go out today, go with us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that your light will shine upon every of our paths today in the mighty name of Jesus. That today, O oh Lord, and every days of our life, we shall receive double, double, double of everything that we have missed in the past in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that we have lost in the time past, O oh Lord, that as from today and for O oh Lord, we shall receive them in double folds in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be with us, O oh Lord. Uphold us, O oh Lord. Strengthen us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oriwa, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. This morning, I want us to share the grace in fellowship. I may the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. The, Lord the Lord of God, of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with Amen. us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever, forever, amen.